Okay, we're back for game three. We're on the draw this time. This is a very similar hand, except we just don't have a red mana, but that's fine. We don't have any of our red spells. I like it when my opponent doesn't play a two draw. Means we're not going to get out of tempo too terribly much. Star Patrol's not a terrible draw. Kind of, you know, against Stab Wound, it's not the greatest. All right. Um, here he played Trestle Troll, so I'm just going to play Selesnya Sentry. Neither it nor Tower Drake gets past it, which is awkward for us. But if I throw down Knightly Valor on the Selesnya Sentry, I don't know. Maybe Tower Drake was the right play. Ew, that's a jailbreaker. Okay, New Prop Guild Mage is a good draw. I'm just going to play out an island and then I'm going to pass, and when he bashes with the jailbreaker, I'm going to flash out Hussar Patrol and double block. He'll only be able to kill one. Aerial Predation won't save him here. We haven't seen any pump out of him. I don't think he's seen Hussar Patrol out of us. Apparently he has a trick again. Common brawn, yeah. That's rough. So hopefully we draw a land in the next turn or two. Void wielder is not bad. I think we probably just need to do that. I don't want to take six for no reason, and this removes the benefit of common bond. Okay, still no land. So here we could play Tower Drake and Knightly Valor, or not Tower Drake and Guild Mage. We could also play Steeler Secrets and New Prop Guild Mage. I think probably want to play Guild Mage and Steeler of Secrets. Hmm. I'm probably going to have to end up Tristani in a way of the Trestle Troll just so I can get stuff through. And I'm going to play the Steeler here just so he's not... He, he might be incentivized to leave the Jailbreaker back because I don't have good blocks for it this turn. Um, and I guess if he does, I can always detain the Troll or something and then hit him with the Steeler. So hopefully this, you know, prevents him from attacking, assuming he doesn't have Stab Wound. And if he Stab Wounds the Steeler, that's fine. It leaves my Guild Mage in play. And if, if need be, I can really just, like, sit here and stall by detaining until I draw more land. All right, well, he's getting in, so we're just going to take it. We're at 20. Still has five cards in hand. That common bomb is kind of a blowout. Soul Tithe. That's really annoying. Axe being Guardian, I don't think matters. So... I think the correct play here is, is we could we could do a couple things. I can detain the jailbreaker since I don't have good blocks for it now, and then that yeah, I don't know if I'm drawing a land or not, and then I'll just let the guild mage die, and then that gives me two two turns to draw a land um, to get rid of uh, the jailbreaker probably. Hmm kind of frustrating like I didn't want to have to have to use judgment on it I would have preferred to use the judgment on the trestle troll alternatively I mean I can just let it die now and play knightly valor on the void wielder and then that gives me a block for ogre jailbreaker he could just have another trick though 
I'm just going to detain it for a turn. I need to draw lands here to play on my hand. Okay, I don't really care about fencing ace. He's leaving up mana for his trestle troll, it looks like, unless he just doesn't have a better play. He very well could have aerial predation. It seems like he's leaving three mana up. So we'll keep that in mind. I guess four with the axe main guardian, or five, six, sorry. <laughs> he's leaving a lot of mana. So he has something. So the question is, what do we want to do here? Just playing Tower Drake isn't really a great use of mana. We can pump it up a bit. I could also just play Knightly Valor on Stealer of Secrets, and then that lets me Tristani's Judgment next turn and get another Knight token. And then maybe I might be able, be able to get in for a card, depending on how he attacks with Justicar. So yeah, I'm just going to do that. This is also nice because being able to judgment now, you know, will give me another token, which will be pretty valuable here. I need to get a little bit of value after getting blown out by common bond. I'm just going to take another hit here, although it's not ideal. I don't have uh, the luxury of blocking at the moment. I don't want to throw away my void wielder because it's negating fencing ace at the moment. Land there isn't the worst. Now I can play Tower Drake and Justicar. Unfortunately, I can't. I can't really lock down enough to get in with this for certain. And uh, if I just attack in wildly, and he blocks with Fencing Ace and has a trick, that's just like super bad for uh, me because then I lose my Stealer. So I think I can probably kill his Axe Bane like, safely, because he'll probably block with it. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. We're going to lock down the Trestle Troll and the Fencing Ace. Presumably he'll block this dealer, although I guess it looks like he has something. Eye in the sky, okay. So this is a little awkward because I don't want to, I don't know if I'm going to get in with Steeler anymore to be honest. This is tough. I want to leave up the Knight token so I can get another one. So I could block with just the Steeler. 
Blocking with Tower Drake and Justicar seems bad. I think he probably has a trick. I can't afford to just keep taking damage here, though. And I'm, I'm thinking if I have any ways to get in Steeler from now on, and I really don't. So I'm just going to go ahead and block. going to be kind of frustrated here if he has, like, even more pump. So I guess at least he doesn't have that. Armory Guard, I don't really care about. Skyline Predator's a good draw. So we'll go ahead and pass the turn and then play that. Can't imagine he'll get in here with the bird. starting to get our air presence on board which is good for us so here I'm just gonna swing with the uh, predator and the tower Drake I imagine if he had aerial predation he would have used it he could have a vengeance arrow or something Okay. I don't know why he regen there, like his thing wasn't gonna die. I guess maybe he's afraid I have a Vengeance Arrow, he's trying to play around it. Oh, I don't have a Vengeance Arrow right now. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and play on my Sunspire Griffin, and then pass the turn. And right now the board state's pretty favorable for us. We're holding, you know, a catch-all removal in hand. Doesn't seem like he can really profitably get in with anything. And we're basically able to get in for four a turn now in the air. This is large. Seven mana. Hopefully it doesn't affect the board immediately. Seems to be in the tank. Now he's not doing whatever he was going to do. Or he is. He's just retapping a bunch. Ah, oh, rights of reaping. Okay, so I guess he's going to try and get in for some value. Probably just going to have to chump block this, because I don't want to take 8 damage. Okay, so we have the option of continuing to get in for two over and over and over. That doesn't put much pressure on him. We could also just exile his Trestle Troll, but then we don't have any gas in hand. But I think that's probably okay. Five air power is pretty tough to deal with. You know, now he has not very many turns to answer these guys. Is no, just another jailbreaker? That's fine.
hitting for one in the air. I'm okay with that. Guess he wasn't planning on chumping that turn. All right, lands are not super helpful here. So we can bash with our Skyline Predator and our Tower Drake. We might have to leave the Tower Drake back. It can block another guy. He has, let's see, he can attack with Army Guard for free. He can attack with Fencing Ace, but we can eat it with Void Wielder probably, uh, or a Knight Token or something. He's also coming in with a Jailbreaker, which we can either use Tower Drake to block, or we can double block it with Knight Tokens. But if we're using those on the Jailbreaker, so I think we will probably need to leave the Tower Drake back. This puts him to 10. We have plenty of white mana to pump up our Tower Drake, which is nice. So it can it can probably block the Void Wielder. We can also double block the Precinct Captain. That's a blowout. So he's probably just sending in with a whole bunch of stuff here, or is he just going in with the one thing? Yeah, it looks like he's sending. Alright. I don't want him to get another token. So we'll probably put the Void Wheel on the, on the Captain and then double block the Jailbreaker, I guess. Yeah, I think he sees that. So go to Blockers. Hopefully he... How much damage are we taking here? One, two, three, four, five. Not very good. Need to draw something ASAP. Another land. It's unfortunate that we're getting pretty flooded here. So he can attack in. I don't think he can kill us this turn. We just have to leave our guys back. Luckily, Skyline Predator eats pretty much all of his stuff except for the Armory Guard. And uh, Void Wielder eats his Fencing Ace, so he can't really attack us profitably until he draws something, unless this last card in hand is something significant. So we're not like dead dead yet. We really need him to draw a couple lands here. We've drawn quite a few more than he has. I presume that last card in hand he has is a land, or at least I'm hoping it is. It seemed a little greedy for him, I guess, to kill the Tower Drake instead of the Predator. I mean, so if he swings with everything, he probably gets in for, like, three points of damage. If he has pump, he obviously just turns everything sideways. If he swings with everything and he doesn't have anything, he gets in three and puts us to one, and then we can basically block everything else he has on the board after that. So he's throwing away two creatures to put us to one. He's not doing it. Something. Wow. All right, pass the turn. Hopefully he bricks. Another brick. That's bad. Supreme Verdict would be good. Is he just gonna send it now? Nope. All right, well, at least 
least that's a creature. It's possible he's also sandbagging a creature um, in case we wrath. Can't really play around that though. And we matched him creature for creature here, so I don't know if he'll get in or not. We still eat a significant amount of stuff if he does try to do that. The unfortunate thing with you know, Supreme Bird, it is since he knows about it, and if he's holding a creature in hand, you think, I don't know, he's probably trying to decide if he just wants to play it and try to go for the win, or if, you know, he should hold it in case we do get our Wrath. I think it's pretty clear we don't have it at this point, or we would have used it. But if we do Wrath, and he just has a creature, he's going to play it, and then he can even scavenge onto it with the Scorpion, and we're basically just dead that the turn unless we draw something. Um... Odin's in the tank. I'm going to go ahead and pause. Okay, I think we're back. Sending in with just the scorpion. So I presume his plan here is if we chump lock, then he is just going to scavenge on to either the, the captain or the fencing ace. And then we have to deal with a first striker. So we can either take two and go to two. I think we just have to chump it though, and trade creatures. Not not good though. I imagine he probably doesn't. Yeah, he shouldn't scavenger until next turn. This is kind of silly. I guess I shouldn't have even played that. I don't think it matters. Because now we're basically just dead. It's an odd play. It's just trying to stab wound us out. We basically need to draw a Supreme Verdict this turn. Dramatic Rescue... I guess buys us a turn, technically, since we can flash back our Skyline Predator. cards from the top of his library, reveals a land card, then puts those cards into his graveyard. Okay. Oh, he got our wrath. That's fine. We have another mountain in hand, so... I don't... Why did he put this in? Whatever. He's just gonna try and let Stab Wound kill us. I guess that's smart. Okay, well now we have Hypersonic Dragon at least, but that doesn't really get us out of this. Um, it's better than nothing though, so we'll play it. Your attempts to mana screw us have failed. So now we have no cards in hand, he can still get in for a bunch of scavenge, so this isn't good. But he still doesn't have great attacks, even after the scavenge. Like, he can put it on Fencing Ace, but I can still block. 
Avenging Arrow. I don't think I can... I still can't attack here, though, is the problem. This kind of gives me an out to the scavenge, though, if he puts it on, like, the first strike, like, if he puts it on Fencing Ace. So now do I start attacking? I might. If I attack, I'm going to have three blockers, and then I can leave what, let one thing through and take some damage. I have to start killing him is the problem. And uh, if, he, if he scavenges on to whatever, I don't think it matters, um, I can still eat a couple of his things, and I take two damage, and then I can avenge arrow one away and then Runewing will draw me a card at least, so... Yeah, I think I just get in with... the Hypersonic. He has five cards in hand. I can't imagine they're all lands. I mean, maybe they are, but... That's obnoxious. I guess maybe I should have... I guess I didn't need to play the Rune Wing there, did I? Okay, so he is going for the scavenge plan onto that, so it looks like he's probably getting in. Yeah, so the plan here is to, I guess, probably chump with the Rune Wing, because that'll get me a card out of the deal. How much I have? Five, seven, eight, nine? I don't think I have any... I don't, not, not after I've lost uh, Knightly Valor. But yeah, I think I have to chump with the Rune Wing here, just because this gets me a card. Alright, Armory Guard's okay. Here I just beat with a hypersonic dragon again. Actually, cancel. Yeah, it's only sorcery spells as though they had flash, not creatures. So I do have to play my creatures. The good news is now, I mean, we'll see what he drew here. Golgari Kirun is kind of annoying. So I think he was sandbagging a bunch of lands. Let's see what we draw. Oh, that's pretty good. Now I think we just attack with both of our flyers. He'll let one through, and then we can explosive impact him for the game. Yeah, I'm going for it. Haha, look at that. Our opponent reasonably upset. We came back from pretty far behind there. Um, on to round two we go.